I will not die for you, Queen Naomi Ogun will say, calls out and attacks the Oni of Ife, or by Adeyeye Ogun will say. Welcome to this channel, and by this point, I'm sure that you know that the Queen and the Oni of Ife have a lot of misunderstanding and disagreements going on. And if you are still one of the persons that want these guys to reconcile, even though i don't know which party maybe both parties or maybe it's just the queen i've refused reconciliation despite pleas from palace persons i don't know what to say to you because this time maybe this is going to let you on, let you in on what is happening this time queen naomi have come out to say see it is remaining very small like this very very small you people will push me to the point that i will talk because rather than die eh me i am going to talk oh and living an abusive marriage does not mean i should go and commit what i should go and off myself does not mean i should go and kill myself i cannot die because of anybody's wahala that is what queen naomi is saying and i think it is directed at the only of ife although persons are saying oh he might not be the only of ife but please what marriage did the queen naomi leave because according to every report she was not married before she she got married to the king and after she left the king she's not officially made it public that she's married to anybody so who is she married to i want to hear from you anyways if you are one of those that are still with me and you want to hear this gist please keep watching this video hmm. so a few hours ago queen naomi came um on our um, official instagram page the thing is since she serves the king breakfast since she served the king breakfast in december of 2021 queen naomi has not been posting regularly on our official instagram page she only comes out to give us important updates you know so when she came out and she posted a few hours ago saying that no woman deserves to be bullied and walking away from abuse should not take away your fundamental human rights and dignity as a woman and she also says that does it mean that walking away from a relationship means you should commit suicide we are like hey what is going on eh and her sister also came out to say enough is enough that this woman she better talk and let the sleeping dog wake you know we said let the sleeping dog lie this woman is saying awaken the giants in you literally talk because no woman deserves one percent of what you went through still going through and you have really tried and enough is enough it's about time the sleeping dog wakes this is what the sister of uh, the queen naomi um celia kumala ogonwose said and she responded to this person and she said it will be a rude awakening you know when i am pushed i would rather die thank you all for standing by me through this very difficult period they don't know what's going on but god will be faithful this is what prophetess queen shile kwala naomi or gunwasi had to say to this person saying enough is enough and you really need to speak up because what you've gone through what you're going through nobody should go through it and she's come to also say this is queen shile kwala she's also said that the thing that happened apparently something happened in police in the you know in the police headquarters actually at the aig's office zone 17 in akure something happened with the assistant commission of police at the aig's office on 17 in akure and she said that is a pointer to the fact that the system has failed womanhood again this is what she said i said more updates coming so we don't know what actually happened but apparently and obviously it had to do with you know marriage living marriage living a toxic marriage which is what some persons think this might not be directed at the only of ife because of course queen chile kwala is quite you know um very very passionate about women empowerment taking care of them living abusive marriages just you know being your best self as a woman so some other persons are thinking this might be a project that she took on and you know something happened in akure now queen naomi is always she's always been based in akure on those states she was there when the queen the king came to seek for a hand in marriage and made her is queen she had uh she has a ministry in a career that's been going on for about 10 years now in herald's ministry that she started when she was just 19 she actually dropped out from the Ad Ad adjust university in ondo state in order to pursue ministry work full-time so she's indeed a prophetess and apparently since she left the 
palace of the owner of ife in ilefe or shun state she returned to Accra to continue you know her work as a philanthropist as a mother to women and many other things that she referred to herself as in the breakup notes that she served the king so she's saying now that does this mean that walking away from a marriage means you should go and what go and off yourself and more updates coming but she's yet to update us but from what our sister said i want to just hear from me and what you infer and i'm going to tell you something else shortly but i want to hear your inference from all of this conversation going on remember that the palace had come out to say several things concerning the ex-wife of the owner of ife and from the queen's camp so there's been several stories going around some other person saying that the queen's family members were the ones that really really came in between the king and his and others are saying that the only of ife is the person that caused the problem yeah guys that's what is just currently happening the queen i don't know if i should refer to her as ex queen or current queen you might want to help me in that regards guys please in the comment section let me know is she still the queen or is she ex queen since she's renounced it but the palace has not officially renounced her i don't know how that happens do you remain did you do you retain that title honestly i have no idea but i want to hear from you so i'll know how to properly address her and people will not come for me in the comment section to say that me i'm being partial or whatever because i've seen comments just like that anyways let's continue talking about what is currently happening so persons in the comment section actually came not persons a certain person actually did come to appeal to kbsc this person matured single school said kbsc please sir be kind to olori naomi she is prince adenikawa's mother Prince, we only love you if his mom is not under any unnecessary stress and embarrassment. Thanks, sir. And a lot of persons do not agree with this person. <coughs> this is a lot of persons going on. I want to hear from you also what do you think. Is Do you think this person's appeal to the KBAC was actually warranted? Because a lot of persons are like, what is this begging for? Why the begging? Lord have mercy. Motivational speaker, do you even read? Do you even understand what this woman is saying? Do you even know what is going on? And a lot of persons are saying this. Um, my old your mother like what says, I guess you didn't even read the caption very well. And there's a saying you are too forward. You did not read the caption before typing rubbish. This is what persons are saying. Which is why I said I think some persons think this is not about the only of if situation, maybe probably about another project of ours, or maybe about the only of if situation, but that happened in Akure on those days. But until Queen Naomi properly fuels us, you know um gives us the gist feel um you know gives us the gist and catches us up on what is currently happening what has been happening in time past we would not know what is going on but see your lumini official who is um almost like our official fashion designer says hmm all is well and victoria Yaya is there saying hmm so a lot of deep sighs and people just watching you know the old hands on your chin just watching drama unfold that's what some persons that is stands some persons have taken and i'm actually one of those persons i'm here like what's happening what's going on and are we going to get the fujis you know all of those things i really want to know what's going on with queen naomi and if this is just some advocacy thank you for other women or this is she talking about herself because we we'll have to respond to the comment that was made on her on the post with by, with um somebody saying that enough is enough and she should better speak up and she's saying she's going to speak up anytime soon because she would rather die than us you know she's saying that she would rather die than you know um not speak up and all of those things i <laughs> okay sha fingers crossed let's just be watching and you're like me you're watching also Abby. so i'll give you all the updates if you don't want to miss it just turn on the notification bell for this channel and how do you turn that on you subscribe to this channel then you click on the bell icon that is going to pop up that is the notification bell that is what is going to let you know when i have updates maybe concerning this one or some other interesting gist going on in the society on the internet i'm here to give you all the juicy juicy details concerning everything if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up to show that you do and share with everyone around you let them know that something is brewing and it's about to be hot 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 like a fire i'll see you in the next video guys bye